All right, so today I was uh, working on the front end of the car, getting ready to put the radiator back in after polishing and cleaning it all up. And uh, first step in doing that is to get some of these uh, accessories that go in uh, between the radiator and the grill. And in this case, the horns. So before you put anything back, you wanna make sure you test it. And this horn was found to be bad. Uh, so because it was bad, I figured it'd be a great opportunity to take it apart. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. So um, the way these horns work, is there's this lever right here that works between these two electromagnets and they, they alternate on and off. One turns the other one on, the other one turns the other one off. And um, so this, this little lever right here um, vibrates against this little flapper and that gets this diaphragm to vibrate and transmit sound through the horn. Right, so that's kind of how it works, very basic. Not that complicated. But uh, in looking at the mechanism, I realized this is not static. I don't know if you can see right there, this little this little guy right here is, is a threaded post. And if you look on the back side, that threaded post is a 932nd um, metal screw. Uh, and that kind of implied to me, oh, you can adjust the tone of your horn. So when you uh, tighten this, see if I can do this so you can see. When you tighten or loosen this, you'll see a difference in the gap between this green and the, and the, and the magnet right there. And what that does is it changes the amplitude that it takes for um, this little post to move up and down. So. When you reduce that distance, it makes a higher pitch, and when you make the distance um, wider, it takes longer for the post to vibrate back and forth, and it makes a lower pitch. Uh, so what I've done here <laughs> is um, I've taken the other horn, which seems to be working. I'm, I'm not going to put it in the service because it's in some pretty bad shape. It's, uh, it's, it's got a break in the seal down here, and there were some bugs living in it, but it works. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate um, what it would take to move this and what, what the effect is. And so I plugged in my, uh, my battery charger here. This has a, um, uh, a fault break, so it won't, it won't beep continuously, but it will beep the horn uh, just momentarily. And you'll be able to, you'll be able to tell the difference as I, as I tighten and loosen this, this little bolt. So let's go through a, f a few iterations here. First of all, benchmark. Meh. It's kind of a meh. We can take it to take a couple of turns this direction. This is kind of tightening. So tightening it. See it, it, it seemed to buzz a little bit faster. And if you tighten it even more, it will actually uh, stop buzzing because it can't vibrate anymore. See? Just kind of a tick. So um, we'll take it back out. Uh, quarter turnage. You see? Eh. Back it up another half turn. Another half turn. <laughs> Another half turn. Yeah, so you go from one side to the other. It's really kind of the delicate, really kind of a delicate adjustment. Whoops. Right again. Another quarter turn. Quarter turn back the other way. And it's back to normal. So, you know, the thing about this is you have two horns. Um, when you honk the horn, you're supposed to have sort of a harmonic uh, in, in, in the way that these are tuned. So if your horn sounds a little sour, um, you can go ahead and tweak it just a little bit. I wouldn't turn it more than 
you know, a half turn in either direction. But, uh, you know, try it back and forth and see if you can get it to tune into uh, a better harmonic on your horn. So uh, that's just a funny little thing I found while I was destroying something that was broken and I thought I'd share it with y'all. All right, so uh, I will do another video a little later on uh, today and get this posted. But it's just a quickie here just to share something interesting that I thought you might all enjoy. Have a good day.